All right, we're getting this breaking news just coming in. The federal government announcing that it is lifting the pause on funding to the agency known as UNRWA. That's the United Nations agency that provides aid to Palestinian refugees. The funding was suspended recently over concerns about some of the staff at UNRWA and whether they were members of Hamas. Let's bring in CTV's Mike Lukater, who's standing by in Ottawa. Mike, great to see you. Take us through the latest here on this. Yeah, we're just getting this announcement from Global Affairs Canada and the Office of Minister Ahmed Hussein, International Development Minister, saying that they have taken a look at that sort of partial interim report by the UN Office of Internal Oversight Services into UNRWA. It's not finalized just yet, but clearly the government believes that what they are seeing so far, they feel that there is enough there that they can unpause this funding. You'll remember that they did, among uh, with a number of other allies, pause that funding as a result, as you had said, um, this apparent connection between uh, people at UNRWA, some employees of UNRWA, uh, and the, uh, the, the attack on October the 7th. So it's not uh, final just yet, but they are, uh, they do believe that UNRWA has taken measures to strengthen oversight, accountability, and transparency. In a quote here, it says Canada will work with fellow donors, the UN and UNRWA to ensure that the recommendations stemming from both uh, the investigation and the independent review are fully implemented. Uh, in addition to this, Todd, we are hearing from the International Development Minister um, that the Canadian government will work with the government of Jordan as well um, for airdrops into Gaza for aid, uh, not only food, but also winter clothing, making sure uh, that they're helping uh, Gazans who are there right now that need uh, that help. And we're expecting more on this at, at a news conference by Ahmad Hussein at about three o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, we're going to bring it live to our viewers, Mike, but great to get you on to break the story for us as well. Obviously, the United Nations uh, key player in all of this, the U.S. as well announcing they're going to be building some kind of a temporary port off the coast of Gaza mm -hmm. in the Mediterranean there to get aid in. We're seeing some of those airdrops as well. Uh, this decision by the government uh, may be controversial in some quarters, but clearly the idea here is to try and get humanitarian aid into Gaza as quickly as possible. We should point out, as you were talking about a moment ago, that UNRWA did uh, get rid of, dismiss, fire some people who they during their internal investigation found did have links to Gaza. Others had been killed in the ongoing mm -hmm. fighting. Yeah, and to that point about the aid being desperately needed, we know that a lot of those corridors um, have been cut off. We know as well that getting that aid in by truck is the most efficient way, and that is why, uh, because it is not going in just yet, there are a number of allies and different other governments that are banding together for airdrops for that port, as you had mentioned, that was uh, talked about by the, the government as well of the United States. And so this is why they're trying every possible means uh, to band together and do this. We know that this has been something that the Canadian government has been looking at um, for a number of, of days now. And, you know, at a, one point we thought that the announcement was coming um, earlier this week. That has been paused and now it sounds like the uh, pause of that funding now is going forward and it looks like the Canadian government will not miss that payment that was supposed to be made in April. Yeah, there was also a deadline too by UNRWA. They had said, you know, if we don't don't have funding restored by the end of March, give or take, uh, you know, we could uh, no longer be able to operate potentially. Yeah, and we, we understand that the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Gaza uh, continues to unfold. We're, you know, seeing limited pictures out of that region, but at the same time, understanding what is happening and the need is great. Uh, and the Canadian government deciding to move forward on that today. All right, CTV's Mike Lucouture with his breaking news. Canada lifting the pause on funding for that UN agency that operates in Gaza, a key humanitarian agency. Thanks for this, Mike. Thanks, Todd.